Hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. Today, we're just going to come on here with a quick 25-point checklist on how you can spot a counterfeit Bible. Amen? All right, so um, many people ask about a certain version of the Bible. Well, and with over 200 different English versions available and a new one coming out about every six months, uh, it's difficult to individually separate Satan's counterfeits from the pure word of God. So we've created 25 simple tests to spot one of Satan's counterfeit Bibles. If any Bible version fails even one of the following tests, it is one of Satan's counterfeits. Now, this is by no means uh, all the deceit and corruption found in the counterfeits. There are thousands of such distortions. This is simply a quick checklist. Is your Bible a counterfeit? All right. Well, uh, Genesis 22 and 8. The counterfeits change. My son, God will provide him Self a lamb for a burnt offering to distort the prophecy that God would become the lamb. The counterfeits read as God will provide for himself the lamb, or God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering. The fulfillment of Genesis 22 8 is found in John 1 29. Isaiah 14, 12, number two. Most counterfeits confuse the Lord Jesus Christ with Lucifer. They replace the word Lucifer with morning star, day star, or star of the morning. The morning star is a title reserved for the Lord Jesus in Revelation twenty two sixteen. This is also the only time the word Lucifer is found in the word of God. In Isaiah 14, 15, the counterfeits do not send Lucifer to hell, but only to the mysterious Sheol or the grave. Three, Matthew 20, 20. Many counterfeits remove the words worshiping him and rob worship from the Lord Jesus Christ. Some counterfeits replace worshiping him with kneeling down or kneeling before. Kneeling is not worship. Four, Matthew 26, 28. Many counterfeits replace the phrase New Testament with the generic phrase New Agreement or New Covenant. This is an obvious attack on the written Word of God. Uh, it's interesting, even though the counterfeits remove the phrase New Testament, they do not title their New Testaments as New Agreements or New Covenants. Why? The counterfeiters knew they could not sell their counterfeits being the title the new agreement or new covenant on the cover. So like any good counterfeit, they disguise it. Five, Mark 3 and 29. The counterfeits change the serious consequences of uh, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost from eternal damnation to eternal sin or eternal condemnation. Six, Luke 4, 4. Many counterfeits remove the last half of Luke 4.4 4 that says, but by every word of God. This is another assault on the word of God. In Luke 4.4, 4, the Lord Jesus is quoting Deuteronomy 8.3. Do the counterfeiters believe the Lord Jesus does not know what Deuteronomy 8.3 says? 7. Luke 4.8. Many counterfeits remove the words, Get thee behind me, Satan. Here, the Lord Jesus Christ openly rebukes Satan. Why do the counterfeiters not allow the Lord to rebuke Satan? 8, Luke 16, 23. Many counterfeiters refuse to translate the Greek word Hades rather than translate Hades to the word hell. The counterfeiters will transliterate the Greek word Hades into the English Hades. By this trick, the counterfeit attempts to extinguish the flames of hell. Hades is not hell. Hell is flames, torments, weeping, wailing, complete darkness forever. 
Hades is a New Age place of purification or a fantasy place in Greek mythology. The Assyrian Hades is an abode of blessedness with silver skies called happy fields. 9. John 4.24. Many counterfeits change God is a spirit to God is spirit. By removing the critical article A, the counterfeits teach an impersonal, formless, esoteric, new age spirit God. 10. John 14.16. Many counterfeits change the Holy Spirit from a loving, concerned comforter to simply another helper or counselor. 11. Acts 2.47. Many counterfeits change the completed act of saved to the working in progress being saved. With this change, the counterfeits deny the complete and finished salvation in the blood of Jesus Christ to a progressive salvation by works. You are no longer saved, but in the process of being saved. 12. Acts 4.27. Many counterfeiters abort the Lord Jesus Christ as the Father's holy child to his holy servant, a subtle and clever denial of the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. The counterfeiters do this again in Acts 4.30. 13. Acts 8.37. Some counterfeits completely remove this wonderful verse and several others. Acts 8.37 is the Ethiopian eunuch getting saved. The counterfeits stop him from getting saved. Some counterfeits are a little more subtle. They do not remove the verse from the text, but will add a footnote questioning the verse and plant a seed of doubt. 14. Acts 17.29. The counterfeits change Godhead to the New Age divine nature or divine being. 15. Acts 20, 22. Many counterfeits change, I go bound in the spirit to Jerusalem, which refers to Paul's spirit, small s, the counterfeits capitalized spirit, making Acts 20 and 22 the Holy Spirit. With this minor change, the counterfeits create a contradiction and a major error. For in Acts 21, 4, the Holy Spirit tells Paul not to go to Jerusalem. This lack of spiritual discernment and sloppy translation work is found many times in the counterfeits. 16. Romans 6.22. Many counterfeits demote Christians from the voluntary loving servants of God to cruel enslaved or slaves of God. The counterfeits say, my father is a slave owner and has child and his children are slaves. Oh, how contrary and wicked to the character of my loving heavenly father. This is done many times in the counterfeits. 17, 1 Corinthians 1, 21. Many counterfeits change the foolishness of preaching to the foolishness of the message preached. The deceitful counterfeits change the object of foolishness from the act of preaching to the message preached. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is nothing foolish about the message of Jesus Christ. It is the greatest message in all of history. 1 Corinthians 1.18 shines some eye-opening light on the counterfeiters. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 1.18 says, The preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. I wonder, are the publishers of these counterfeits even saved? 18. 1 Corinthians 6.9 The counterfeiters change the word effeminate to homosexual or male prostitutes. This dilutes the serious warning of just the appearance or mannerism, the effeminate of the homosexual. 19. 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. The counterfeits change the word corrupt the word of God to peddling or selling the word of God, an apparent attempt by the counterfeiters to hide the fact that they are corrupting the word of God. It won't work. God knows what they're doing. 20. 
2 Corinthians 10.5, counterfeits change imaginations to arguments or obstacles or speculations. This change lines the counterfeit up with the new age religion. This new age is built upon imaging and imaginations. It also removes the spiritual identification to where sin begins in our imaginations. 21, Colossians 1.14. Many counterfeits remove the phrase through his blood. Salvation is only through his blood. Without the shedding of blood is no remission of sins. 22, Colossians 1.14. I mean, sorry, 22, 1 Timothy 3.16. Many counterfeits change the crucial word God to the unmodified, vague pronoun, he. This is the clearest verse in the Bible stating that Jesus Christ was God manifest in the flesh. The counterfeits destroy it. 23, 1 Timothy 6.10. The counterfeits add the words kinds of. This addition dilutes the conclusive statement, the love of money is the root of all evil in the subjective. The love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. 24, 2 Timothy 2.15. The counterfeits remove the word study. They do not want you to study your Bible. You might find out they are corrupting it. And 25, Revelations 1 and 5, many counterfeits change washed us from our sins in his own blood to loosed or freed us from our sins. Revelation 1, 5 is the only verse in the Bible that says you are washed in the blood and the counterfeits destroy it. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus, not according to the counterfeits. So which Bible is the pure words of God? How about which Bible was produced more revivals than any other Bible in any language? Which Bible has produced more converts than any other in any language? Which Bible is authorized uh, that all the others are measured against? Uh, which Bible has conquered the assault of time and critics. Which Bible is said the most beautiful piece of writing in any language? Which Bible agrees with over 99% of the 6,000 Greek readings? Which Bible did Barna Research Organization discover is five times more likely to be read daily? Which Bible is public domain and not bound by any copyright law? Which Bible officially wears the crown? of a king. That's your King James Bible. Where the word of a king is, there is power. The King James Bible is the inerrant, pure, preserved, every word perfect word of God. It is the bread that the Lord thy God hath given thee. And those are just 25 places you could check any other Bible and see that they're counterfeits. Because we are to live by what? Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, and if they've removed even one word, it's no longer the perfect word of God. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.